Hey, that's a really smooth shave you got there. Gee, thanks. I use Edge Pro Gel. Hey, guys, could we? Nine, nine, Edge has nine different formulas. Really? Wow, your face is so soft. That's Edge to set some skin. Next time, use your own can of Edge. That was my can. What's not? Locker room's that way for a can of Edge. Boy, I can use a close shave. Everyone's skin is different, so Edge Pro Gel comes in nine different formulas to meet your individual shaving needs. Edge, save your skin. Yeah! This NFL Films production is a presentation of the National Football League. NFL Team Highlight Films are brought to you by Edge Pro Gel. Save your skin. The Tennessee Titans began the 2000 season anticipating excellence. Ain't nobody gonna take nothing away from us. Oh, we just gotta do it, baby. There's nobody. No, nobody. Nobody. Oh, nobody. Oh, nobody. Oh, nobody. Oh, nobody. Oh, nobody. A team built on fortitude and determination. They won the AFC Central Division crown and hosted an AFC Divisional Playoff game against the Baltimore Ravens. But the Titans were unable to slay their division's Goliath and suffered a 24 to 10 loss. They don't know what we're gonna do to them! You hear me? They don't know! Despite the early playoff exit, the Tennessee Titans were one of the NFL's top teams throughout the season. Make a play, let's go! With tenacious defense. Let's go, baby. And powerful offense, Tennessee took command of the league. There you go! There you go! The Titans celebrated another superb season as a team united. A group that epitomizes the dictum, Together We Stand. The Titans kicked off the 2000 home schedule against the Kansas City Chiefs. Everything has been said, guys. All we got to go out there and do is play ball. It's make plays, offensive, defense, and special team, and we'll come out victorious. It's a win. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wake up. One, two, three. Win. Tennessee grabbed a second quarter lead when Frank Wycheck completed his first pass of the season. With the offense putting points on the board, the defense stuffed Kansas City four straight times from Tennessee's one-yard line. And the Titans have held. Just get it lined up and get a sack. Javon Kurtz lined up and smacked Elvis Gerback onto his back. Down by a touchdown early in the fourth quarter, Steve McNair's third down scramble proved costly as he was knocked out of the game with a bruised sternum. Losing McNair could have been disastrous, but Neil O'Donnell came in to rally the Titans. A touchdown to Yancey Thigpen tied the game at 14 and forced overtime. The Titans needed a big play, and Eddie George delivered with a 27-yard run to put them in field goal position. With a big run in a big situation, and the Titans are in Al Del Greco country. Al Del Greco's 36-yard field goal was the 14th game-winning kick of his career. Tennessee poses a double threat on offense, with two quarterbacks capable of starting. They work together to make the team the best it can be. 
Yeah, it's your team. Yeah. So you got to do that. Yeah. That was good. You matured a lot. Yeah, Great game. Yeah, thank you. Steve McNair has grown into a seasoned quarterback and earned tremendous respect from teammates and opponents. McNair finished second in rushing on the team, proving that his feet are just as dangerous as his precision passing arm. Houdini, where's number nine? As McNair recovered from his injury, O'Donnell filled the starting role against his former team, the Pittsburgh Steelers. O'Donnell completed 13 of 27 pass attempts as the Titans claimed a 13-6 lead going into the fourth quarter. If George coming left by through, 15, cuts back 10, 5, and zone. After a big hit forced O'Donnell from the game, Tennessee turned to the injured McNair. Facing a third and 11 from the Pittsburgh 36-yard line, McNair effortlessly led the offense downfield. A touchdown pass to rookie tight end Aaron Kinney secured the come from behind win. Touchdown, Titans! McNair's late game rally was the result of Tennessee's talented receivers, including number 85, Derek Mason. Because of key injuries to the lineup, Tennessee called on Mason to become a top receiver. And he answered with an amazing 2000 campaign. Mason led the team with 895 receiving yards and five touchdown receptions, both career highs. Mason took that ball away from the defender, made a good move, cut it upfield, and stretched the football for a beautiful touchdown. While Mason was the playmaking receiver, Chris Sanders' specialty was catching the deep ball. He caught five passes for more than 35 yards. Veteran wideouts Yancey Thigpen, number 82, and number 86, Carl Pickens, rounded out the pass catching core. Let's come out the gate and jump on the ass fast and knock him in the mouth. Don't hold nothing back. Tennessee made a statement against the eventual NFC champion New York Giants with ball control offense. The Titans held the ball for over 42 minutes and totaled 436 yards of offense. Steps up, fires down the middle, field man wide open. Touchdown, Titans! Much of the offense came courtesy of Eddie George, who rushed 35 times for 125 yards and a touchdown. Cuts back to the middle, five, outside, end zone. Touchdown, Titans! This is our defining moment. Are we going to finish him or what? We have got to finish him. The defense limited the Giants to 24 rushing yards and intercepted three Kerry Collins passes. McNair threw three touchdown passes in Tennessee's 10th straight victory in Adelphia Coliseum. Left side wide check driving for the end zone. Touchdown Titans! How you like that? We've been waiting. We've been waiting to click. We got all that stuff behind us now. Now let's keep, let's build off of this. Hey, I'm no longer a Monday night version. Tennessee fans were eager to host the Titans' first Monday night football game in Nashville. Man, give me some, give me some early. You can smell it out here. <laughs> the tone was set from the beginning as Derek Mason returned the opening kickoff 65 yards to give the offense great field position. That's the way to start off. That's good. That's good to start off. Tennessee took advantage of the field position 
and scored on back-to-back -back drives with two incredible catches, giving them a 14-3 lead. Eddie George rushed for 165 yards as the Titans offense racked up more than 400 yards for the third consecutive week. Eddie George, 19 yards to Painter, and Tennessee up 20. We'll take that all day, all day. Tennessee's defense effectively took Jacksonville's high-powered offense out of the game. The Titans imposed their will on the Jaguars, forcing turnovers and miscues. Eddie Robinson took his own advice to account for one of the Titans' five sacks. While the defense manhandled Jacksonville, Eddie George carried the Titans' offense to victory. The four-time Pro Bowler directs the Titans' power running game. This year, George became the only back in history to carry the ball at least 300 times in each of his first five seasons. He also followed in the footsteps of Eric Dickerson as the second running back to amass 1,200 yards in each of his first five seasons. George's accomplishments in 2000 earned him his first All-Pro selection. Touchdown, Titans! And nobody laid a hand on Eddie. Ain't no place like first place. Ain't nobody gonna take nothing away from us. And we just gotta do it, baby, because nobody, 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 In week eight, the Titans showed their defensive prowess against the Baltimore Ravens. Randall Godfrey was the star of the unit with six tackles and two interceptions, one of which was returned 24 yards for the go-ahead touchdown. Looks left, fires, ball, intercepted. Randall Godfrey, 20, 15, 10, 5, and so, touchdown, Titans! Steve McNair completed 11 of 21 pass attempts, the most going to Chris Sanders, who finished the day with three catches for 60 yards. While Eddie George was sidelined with a knee injury, McNair found a new touchdown target. Oh, fires back in the middle of the field. Thomas catches it at the two. With the win, Tennessee started six and one in back-to-back -back seasons for the first time. The following week, the Titans faced the highly touted Washington Redskins. With momentum shifting the Titans' way, Derek Mason's punt return for a touchdown gave Tennessee a 10-7 lead. Tennessee's defense wreaked havoc on the Redskins' offense. Brad Johnson was sacked three times and threw four interceptions. One of the most remarkable picks came as time expired in the first half. Samari Roll's interception would have been insignificant if not for his teammates rallying around him. Their perseverance and positioning provided a wall of blockers as Roll ran 81 yards downfield and finally slipped into the end zone. Samari Roll stepped in front of Irving Fryer and just great hustle and great hustle by the entire Titan defense to get some blocking. And the Titans on the final play of the half have scored. It's 19 to seven. A fourth quarter touchdown to Frank Wycheck sealed the deal for the Titans. Fires downfield, ball caught, Wycheck driving for the goal line, end zone! Congratulations, that's seven straight. We're gonna get on a roll now. Hey, I'm a little reluctant to give him the ball, I'm afraid he won't practice this week, but uh, Samari, Samari, great job. Samari roll was an integral part of Tennessee's stingy defense. I don't know why he picked Samari to throw it to, but he couldn't have hit him more perfect. He was complimented by Denard Walker and number 37, Danon Sidney. Tennessee's defensive leaders, Pro Bowl safety Blaine Bishop, 
and number 31 Marcus Robertson gain support from Perry Phoenix, number 35. Surrendering only 191 points, this unit set a new franchise record for fewest points allowed in a single season and had six games in which they held their opponent to one offensive touchdown. Much of the defense's success was due to linebacker Randall Godfrey, whose career-high 169 tackles led the team. With consistent play from number 55, Eddie Robinson, and number 51, Greg Favors, Tennessee set a new club record of 55 sacks in a season. We've got another quarterback getting loose now. We've got to contain him, put him down. On the defensive front line, the Titans' veteran leadership came from Henry Ford. Number 99, Kenny Holmes. Two-time Pro Bowler, Javon Kurtz. Number 95, Joe Salavea. John Thornton, number 78. And number 97, Jason Fisk. These men round out Tennessee's fierce defense. Let's come out on fire, and let's put it right in the mouth, and don't stop. Let's, let's take it to the stop. next level. Hosting the Pittsburgh Steelers in week 10, the Titans again controlled the ball for more than half the game. Cordell Stewart was sacked twice and completed only seven of his 22 attempts. Tennessee held a six to nothing lead when the Steelers found their way to the end zone. Steve McNair answered with a 62 yard drive late in the fourth quarter to put Tennessee in field goal range. Snap, set, kick on its way. Automatic out. Del Greco's third field goal of the day gave the Titans their eighth straight win. Don't get better than this. Perfect day, on our family and friends. So put it all together with a win today. That's all that counts, baby. In week 14, Tennessee faced another formidable opponent in the Philadelphia Eagles. The Titans scrapped and clawed their way to a 12-6 lead late in the fourth quarter. Philadelphia scored a touchdown with just over two minutes left leaving Tennessee one last chance to set Al Del Greco up with a 50-yard field goal. Snap, set, kick on the way! It's good! Del Greco makes it! Tennessee wins it! We don't play good! Al bails us out every time! It's been a hard couple weeks for our kicker, but he's back! Huh? Congratulations. Nice call. In his 17th season, Al Del Greco again led the team in points with 118. Del Greco has done it again. Good! His kicking counterpart, quarterbacks, tackles, and continues to be one of the NFL's top punters. For the third straight season, Craig Hendrick averaged more than 40 yards per punt and had 33 punts downed inside the opponent's 20-yard line. The Titans' other Mr. Versatile, Derek Mason, led the NFL with 662 punt return yards and led the AFC with an average of 27 yards per kickoff. While Mason used special teams blocking to move downfield, the offense utilized the Great Wall of Nashville. Kevin Long anchors the Titans' offensive line. He works with first-time pro bowler Brad Hopkins. And number 71, Fred Miller. The interior is ruled by number 75, Benji Olsen. And reigning Iron Man, Bruce Matthews. In his 279th game, Matthews surpassed his brother Clay for fifth place on the NFL's all-time list for games played. But the game really belonged to Eddie George, 
He carried the ball 34 times for 176 yards and three touchdowns, accounting for almost 60% of Tennessee's offense. At each yard, 35 yards to Painter, touchdown tight! Derek Mason's only catch of the day earned the first time Pro Bowler a franchise and league record. One of your teammates set the all-time single season record for all-purpose yards. D. Mace, congratulations. Yeah. Jeff today became the all-time uh, winning coach in Oiler Titan history, passing Bum Phillips. Over the last two seasons, Jeff Fisher has guided his team to a 26 and six mark the most in back-to-back -back seasons by any Titans coach. Yeah, I like that. I like that, Fred. Welcome to the program. Fisher's knowledge of the game and tremendous enthusiasm has earned him the respect of his players and made him the team's vocal and passionate leader. Come on, knock somebody down. Get your mouthpiece in there, young fellas. Go! That's how you play defense, guys. You get to knock them around a little bit. You close the gap. Let's finish it. Finish it. Start off right now, returners. Get field position offense. Put in the end zone. Let's go. 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 let us to earn their second straight shutout and give the 13 and 3 Titans the NFL's best record. Tight blitz, sack, fumble, recovered by Big Henry Ford. Ford gets up. 30. He's gone. 20, 10, 5. It's a touchdown tight. This is the first time. Since he's owned this club, this franchise, they've had the best record in ball. Mr. Adams, congratulations. <laughs> Guys, with that effort, you just finished the league as the number one defense in the National Football League. With that performance, the Tennessee Titans proved that they are a dominant force in the NFL. This team is so effective because of an offense that totaled more than 350 yards in nine of their 16 games. They have ruled the AFC Central Division with a 24 and four record over the last three seasons. Youth, strength, and perseverance personify these Titans. A team that has stood together as they strive to build a dynasty in Nashville. Edge Pro Dell presents the Tennessee Titans Ultimate Performance of 2000. In week five against the New York Giants, Steve McNair led the Titans' balanced offensive attack. He threw for 293 yards and three touchdowns, including two to Frank Wyjack. In the 28-14 win, Samari Roll was one of three Tennessee defenders to intercept Kerry Collins. Edge Pro Gel is the official shave gel of the NFL. Save your skin.
This NFL Films production has been brought to you by the National Football League. The NFL is online at www.nfl.com.